Hi grades threes and four. I hope you've had a great weekend. Today we're starting a new topic. So last week we worked at understanding numbers and place value and rounding and skip counting and all of that kind of stuff. Now we're going to actually start with addition. And if you understood last week really well, I have some secrets to give you today that will make this week work faster for you so you don't have to take as much time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to look at basic addition and addition. So right here, this is a basic addition question. You've probably done it before, but what we're looking at is we've got 7 plus 2, and we know that's a 9, and then we've got 2 plus 6, and that's an 8. That's simple, not hard. Now down here, we've got 5 plus 6, and that gives us 11. Now some of you might write it like that, and if you do, I will be very sad. Because one of the rules you always have to remember in math is you can never put two digits underneath one digit. It's not allowed. If you have two digits, you've got to put, if you've got one digit in a row, you can only put one digit below it like that. See, that's a one digit, one digit. So what do I do with the other one and the 11? Well, we do something called carry it. So we write 11 like this, where we have 11 down here, one, the one down here and the other one up here. Okay, and now we go 1 plus 3 plus 5, which gives us 9. So the answer is 91. Now, I know you've done this before. This is not something new for you, so you shouldn't have any trouble with this. I'm sorry, my video keeps going off because I'm trying to write and record myself at the same time. Okay, so this is really important. Now, I just realized I have to change this number here because otherwise... I'm just going to confuse you guys. So I'm going to change that one to a 6. Okay. Now again, remember that when we add here, we can only put one digit underneath. In this case, 6 plus 6 is 12. I cannot write 12 like that. That's a problem. Do not do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the 2 from the 12, the 2 from the 1's place. Okay. This one always goes up. Okay. And will always be a 1. In addition, it will always be a one, like this, if you're doing two-digit addition. If you're doing, like, two numbers, if you're doing more than that, it won't be. But anyway, don't worry about that too much, okay? Just worry about the fact that when I'm adding, the two goes down and the one goes up. And now I've got one plus one, seven plus one plus one, which gives me nine, 92. Now here's where it gets interesting. If you know your place values, you can do this an easy way. First, let's do it the way that takes a little bit longer. It's fine, it's a good way to do it. Go ahead and use it, it's an awesome way to do it. So I'm gonna show you the longer way first, okay? And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you the fast way for those of you who understand your place values. So here, we're gonna write 42 plus 19, like that. Now, don't write it like this, or like this or like this, that's all nonsense. Do you see how neat everything I have is? And do you see how they're lined up? The nine is right underneath the two, the four is, the four is right above the one, you see that? You see how it's all organized? I don't have some messy jumble where I don't even know what I've done like that, or everything's even out of order like that, where I don't know whether that one is underneath the two or underneath the four. We don't do that, okay? Writing this neatly is a requirement. It's how we make things nice, okay? So two plus nine is 11. I'm gonna write the one down, carry the other one, and one plus four plus one is six. Next one here, I'm gonna write 63 plus 42. They're nicely unorganized, and that's a five. Ooh, and that's a 10. Now see, that one's an interesting one, isn't it? So let's look at that again, because that was really fun. So we gotta make sure we do it right. Three plus two is five, that's simple. Now six plus four is 10, but we know we can only write the zero and then carry the one, but there's no place to carry it, so we write it here in a new place value. Do you see how that lines up though? These are all in a row, these are all in a row, and this one is in a brand new row all on its own. See that? Okay, that's really important that it's in a new row all by its own. So that's how you do those. But now let me show you the fun way, okay? Let me show you the way that's fast if you understand place value. What you have to do is you have to take the two ones right there, see? 
two ones. So you've got a two and you've got a nine. Well, two plus nine is 11. Now I'm gonna write the one over here, but you notice I'm leaving a space here? And that's because this is on this side, there's stuff over here, and I have to carry the one. See that, I have to carry it. So now I've got one plus, and let me change colors here. So now here I have the ones in the two tens places, okay? And so now I have to go four plus one plus this one I put over here, which gives me a six. And you see how I wrote that six on this side of the one, not on this side of the one? See that? Okay. Now, if you didn't understand what I just explained to you, that's okay. Don't do it this way. It's not a problem. You don't have to do it this way. If you don't understand what I just explained, do it this way. No problem. This is perfect. This is a lovely way of doing it. Okay. Don't get yourself confused. The one thing you should not be doing though is a calculator. I want to see your work. If you do it this way, I want to see that you've done it this way. If you do it this way, I want to see that you've done it that way, okay? Now, I'm going to give one more explanation on how to answer in sentence form for those of you who are kind of excited about doing it that way. But again, if you didn't understand and you're not understanding, that's okay, no problem. Just write it out again like this. That's fine, okay? There's nothing wrong with doing it that way. All right, so for those of you who are looking, first you add the two ones together. So three plus two is five. And remember, we're leaving a space on this side. Then we add the two tens together. I'll change colors for that. Then we add the two tens together. Six plus four is 10. And so our answer is 105. You can see it's the same as this answer right here. It's just a little bit faster. Okay, I'm going to turn off video now because it's getting a little bit hard to write uh, while, um, while I've got this on. So I'm just going to turn it off. All right, now, grade threes, this is your workbook page right here, just this side. You do not do the back, this side only. So no word questions. That work is for tomorrow, so you don't have to do that, okay? All you have to work on is this page. Now, the one thing I want to tell you about it is you have to go equals and write the answer. Equals, 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 <laughs> equals, equals. I want to see numbers here. If I don't see numbers here in your answers, I will send the work back and you will have to do it again. Okay, I'm sorry for my dogs. I probably just heard them barking there. All right, I want to see stuff written there. Do not ignore that. This is a requirement. All right, grade three is you can go ahead and get um, go ahead to your group chats now because you're going to be with your teachers. So uh, go ahead for that. But grade four, stick around and watch the rest of this video, please. All right, grade fours. I'm sure what we were doing so far, you're like, I know how to do that, and that's good. So here, let's look at some examples. So this is the work that you're going to be doing, okay? And remember, everything is lined up really neatly, okay? So you just go in order: three plus one, four. That's simple. Eight plus two is 10. You put the zero down and you carry the one. But where you carry the one is really important. You do not put it over here. That's wrong. That's not where it goes. You have to put that one that you're carrying on the next number beside. So you just did the eight here. So that means the one goes on the four, the one that's right beside it, okay? So now we go one plus four plus nine, which is 14. And now we do need a one up here. See, before that was the wrong place, but now it's correct because we have the four and we have to carry the one on the number right beside it. And then we go one plus two plus uh, six and we get the number nine. So the answer is 9,404. Let's do another practice on this one, okay? So in this case, we've got a seven plus a three is 10. We write the zero and carry the one. Now see how I put the one right beside on this one? This one didn't have a one on the tens place, but this one does because we always carry our one on the number right beside the one from before it. So here we did seven plus three, so the one gets carried there. We got six plus four plus one, which is 11. We write the one down, carry the other one, the one right beside there. Then we've got one plus nine plus eight, which is 18. We put the eight down, carry the one, 
and we've got 1 plus 1 plus 5, which is 7, and our number is 7,810. Now, if you have questions like this, the same as with the grade 3s, the easy thing to do is just to rewrite it like this. You can do this on your work page. Do not erase it. I want to see your work. I'm going to say this 50 million times and you guys are going to keep forgetting and then I'm going to make you write it again and then you're going to be frustrated because you already wrote it one time and now you have to write it a second time. Do not erase. I want to see the work. Okay? So what I mean by that is we're going to do this work here. Okay? 1 plus 4 is 5. 7 plus 6 is 13. Write the 3. Carry the 1. 6 plus 8 plus 1 is 15, write the 5, carry the 1, and then 6. So what a lot of you will do is you'll say, oh, that's the number, 6535, five, and then you'll go like this in your book, and you'll erase it. And if you do that, I will be so grumpy. Do not erase it, okay? I want to see you keep your work. If you are writing in your book, let's go down here as an example, okay? And you've got a question like this, and you're like, okay, I'm going to write the that work over here, I'm going to write 6, 8, 2, 4, plus 1, 5, 9. You leave that there. Don't erase it. All right? Got it? Okay. So that's the way you do it the regular way. Now I'm going to show you how to do it the fast way if you understand it. So the first thing you do is you add the 1s. 1 plus 4 is 5. You write the 5. You see how I left all the space over here? That's really important. Then the next thing you do is you add the tens together. 7 plus 6 is 13. I write the 3 and I carry the 1 on the next number. Then I add the hundreds together. 6 plus 8 plus 1 is 15. I write the 5 and I carry the 1. And then lastly, I add the thousands together. And 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6. And there's my answer. Okay? If you decide to answer it this way, then make sure you're showing your ones that you've carried so I know you understand it. Okay? You don't have to do it multicolored like I did. I did it multicolored so you would understand. The blues are the ones, the reds are the tens, the purples are the hundreds, and the um, or yellows, oranges are the thousands. So let's do it again here. Okay, so we're going to start with blues, just like we did last time. So first we add the tens. In this case, 8 plus 1 is 9. Then we add, sorry, that was the ones. I said tens. First we add the ones. Then we add the tens. 9 plus 3. See, I didn't, by the way, did you notice I didn't carry anything last time? And that's because 1 plus 9 doesn't need anything to be carried because it's not a two-digit number. All right, now... 9 plus 3 equals 12. So I'm going to write the 2, and this time I do have to carry something because it's a big enough number that I have to carry, okay? Now I'm going to add the hundreds. In this case, it's 2 plus 1 plus the one that's carried, which is a 4. Again, I'm not going to add, I'm not going to carry anything over because 4 is a one-digit number. It doesn't need anything to be carried. And then I'm going to go 7 plus 1 is 8. And that's the answer to that question. But always remember, if this didn't make sense to you, if you find that confusing, then just write out your number like this, nice and neat. So everything's lined up. You see, like this is in a row, and this is in a row, and this is in a row, and this is in a row. You see that? Okay. Now, I was hoping I could erase that without erasing everything. And then... Just do the math this way. That's okay. Nobody is going to blame you if you need to do the math this way, if you'd like to do this math this way. So 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 2, carry the 1. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. And 7 plus 1 is 8. And you can see these two numbers are the same. So that's good. All right. So that's all you have to do for the math today. It's not that tricky. I know you know how to do this. Okay. This is your worksheet for today. It doesn't require any explanations. It's pretty simple. Except again, remember, the one thing I told you is that when you write these out, if you can't if you don't do them sideways because you're not sure how, then make sure you write them out in a really neat way. And don't write jumbo big. So like this. 6 8 2 
2, 4, plus 1, 5, 9. Add it together. Okay? Don't write it like this. Something really big. Write it as small and as neatly as you can. And then just keep the work and on your page. You can, you can write all over the page. You can write up here. Whoops. You can write up here. You can write down the side here. You can write up here in any space you have. You can write here. You can write down this side of the page if you need to. Okay? You can write in here. There's lots of places to write. I want to see your work. And I'm going to say this again because some of you guys just can't seem to remember. I do not want you to erase it. Once I want to see your work. Do not be silly. Do not erase your work. It makes more work for yourself because a lot of the time I will just make you write it all out again to prove to me that you did not use a calculator. Because if I just come here and I just see an answer like this, let's say 7931. I don't, that's not the right answer. But if I just see that, I'm going to think you used a calculator because I don't know how you got to that answer. I have no idea how you got there because you didn't write it out for me. Now, if you do this, um, 13, carry the one, you don't have to do the arrows. One plus two plus five is eight. Then eight plus one is nine and six. If you do that, I'll believe you because I saw the one that you carried. So I know that you actually did it sideways, okay? But without that, how do I know whether you used a calculator or not? And calculators are strictly forbidden in grade 4 math. There is never a need for a calculator in grade 4 math, ever. We clear? All right, good. Okay, go back to the group chat now, please.